a CBAB production. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth over here on the channel. My name is Seabad, and we're here today on Seabad at Gaming with episode number... God, what is this? Nine? Nine. I, we, I've been... Oh, I love this game so much. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited for today's episode. If you guys are, show some love on that like button down below. It helps out the channel immensely. You guys have been crushing the support over here. Um, this second channel was kind of just like a, a passion project for mine, and it's just incredible seeing the amount of support on these videos. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys are new make sure you guys subscribe so you do not miss out we got plenty of content coming your way if you guys missed the last episode first off go watch it because oh boy second off if you guys missed it uh go watch it because we got faded at the end of the last episode so i'm gonna kind of skip through this dialogue here because we've already seen this once um unfortunately when i closed out of the game i don't know what happened but what ended up happening is that my um uh, my save progress, like, the, everything we did in the last episode just, like, stopped. So, we kind of rebuilt the team a little bit. Um, we have our champion team. We still have Gargomon on. We evolved our champion, or we digivolved our champions a little bit sooner. So that way, um, XVmon and Marimon both have that same experience. We've got a Kabuterimon in the back. We know Kabuterimon was doing really, really well against, uh, the boss fight that we're about to enter into. So I've got no issue there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I like Digivolved them like right here last time. But um, just let me show you guys party real quick. Um, So here on the main squad, we have uh, XVmon level 13, Marimon level 13, and Gargomon 16. We've got Kabuterimon level 6 and Betamon level 6 in the back. Betamon's a rookie, but I wanted Betamon on just to get some more experience because I do like Betamon's like evo Digivolution tree, like traditionally. So we will see. Can I? I was seeing if I had a like skip cutscene button, but if I've already seen it once, it probably won't let me do it again. So let me cut to the boss battle against Jimmikin, and I will be right back. Yeah, this is, this threw me for a loop in the last episode that like, I was like, boy, there's a lot of talk about him. He's probably a bad guy. And then like my gut just happened to be correct. It was wild. All right, so here is the battle that I'm not looking forward to because like I said, last time, we got absolutely faded, and I think... Uh, I, I Really, what I want to do is I want to print out like a type chart to keep on my desk, because I have no... I, I do not recall what does well against what. I'm just going to auto mode for a minute and see what happens. It'll probably just drill everything into the same one, but I think maybe having Gargomon... Gargomon doing two times damage to Devimon is going to be sick. So let's just... Uh, everybody's leveled up very nicely. I think, as opposed to the last time we took this on. So I'm okay with all of that. I probably am going to auto-cancel here because we looks like we're going to need to heal up Marimon after this next attack. Um, Maybe not. Let's... Heavy Strike 2. Okay. I feel like V-Laser should be doing a lot. Let's keep letting XVmon and Marimon take out the Marimons. And then let's have... Um, let's have Dum Dum Uppercut here. Let's keep doing that into Devimon since that's doing double damage. I think that'll be our best way of going for that. Um, actually, let me... Yeah, let's keep nailing down this one on the left first. Oh, so close. Destruction Cannon 2. Oh, Gargomon Resist. Let's go. All right, you can attack charge. That's fine. You attack charge yourself. Okay, good. All right. So I am going to just attack. I'm not going to waste the SP on that. There's one down. Now Gargomon is going to keep Dum Dum uppercutting into Devimon. And then Deathclaw. Okay, we need to heal Gargomon fast. So let's use Marimon's turn. Does Marimon have a heal skill? No, we have attack skill. Let's use HP Capsule C over on Gargomon here. Now, we may have a combo attack here with, with this. Let's just... Does V-Laser do a lot to the Marimon? Or is that neutral? It's neutral. Okay. Our Marimon's okay. Let's keep Dum Dum uppercutting Devimon. And then let's go on ahead. A Burning Fist Devimon as well. Uh, it's not doing too much. Okay, so Fire's not doing good against that for whatever reason. 
Destruction Cannon 2. Marimon's down. Jet. Okay. Let us use a Revival Capsule on Marimon here. Bring him back. We're doing much better than we were last time. Hellcrusher is such a hard move. Okay. We are going to V-Laser. Oh, good. We got the combo. Let's go. Booyah. That did nothing. Wow. Okay. Dum Dum uppercut into Devimon again. So close. Come on. Okay. It's actually just fine. And now I'm going to heal myself actually as Marimon. I'm going to use another one of those HP capsules. Come on, we can do this this time. Panic Wisp confuses, right? Oh, and of course it's super effective against Marimon. Jeez. Okay. Let us go on ahead. Let's heavy strike. Okay. Oh, he just attack charges. Okay. I think Gargomon and Marimon should be able to wrap up this Devimon. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit. Um, let's just attack. Okay, come on, Marimon. Oh, you attack Gargomon because he's confused. No. Oh, my God. Nightmarish. Okay. Let's V laser Devimon. Oh, good. We got another combo. Okay, so Devimon should be done here. Right? Yes! You love to see it. Okay. I am just going to... I'm going to heal. Um, I need to heal myself, actually. That's fine. Okay, and I think... Don't attack. He attacked himself. Come on, dude. All right. Let's... Let's use HP Cat. No, I've got... Let's just use C on Marimon. Let's do that. And I think we can just auto through the rest of him. I assume, yeah. I think the next wave of three attacks is going to be good and we'll be good to go. Oh, boy. Let me tell you. I was nervous getting to this, especially when my save file was not up to snuff. All right. Looks like... Wow, really? Oh, we got a memory up after that. That's good. Gargomon grew level, Kabuterimon, and Betamon all grew level. Gargomon's got to be in the 30s before we can Digivolve again. So let's just worry about getting Gargomon and Betamon leveled up. The rest of the champions will go progressively. What's this? This Digimon is useless. It's too lame. That don't rock. It's not the Digimon's fault. You're the lame one. Whoa, the fury of the flower beds. So you know I even gotten serious yet. Is that a prelude or are we just tuning up? Well, I've got more powerful Digimon next. It's sure to get you headbanging, you heard? Enough. Stop this now. Oh, God. I remember him. I don't know who that is. This ain't good. Hey, 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 what a coincidence running into you here like this. Is that Yugo, the leader of Team Zaxxon? Huh? No more of this high-handed foolishness. Your style has led the group too far astray. What? You might be the team leader, but you think you can just tell me what to do when I'm your buddy and one of your top dogs? You're lording power over me? Forcing your hand? Woman beside you go. Zaxxon's rules must never be broken. Rules? Those have long gone by the wayside, baby. Of course it was me who got rid of most of them. Rock and roll, baby! This is how y'all are gonna talk to your leader? This is how y'all gonna talk to your leader? Oh look, Faye has come all this way for little old me. I'll just say this one more time. Zaxxon rules. You're kidding, right? You big kid are you. It's a rockin' joke. I'm telling you. You go the super hacker is going to set me straight. No way, Jose. No way. Not no way. Not no how. You're going to ice me for real? Have your lover there do it for you, I suppose? It's all a big joke. <laughs> just a joke. Like, why so serious? Am I right? All right. I'm going to jet here in a bit. I've got shows and gigs and all that to do. Bye bye. <laughs> What on earth? Toa, how long are y'all gonna just stand there looking stupid? 
What? I don't know what hacker group y'all are in, but if we'll overlook this for now, go on now, get. What? Hey, look at the sweet Digimon. Can I have him? You think you could just show up and say that? As if. I'm not giving them to you. Really? You want to go with me, precious? Ain't that just fine and dandy? Makes me all warm and fuzzy. All right, I'll take good care of y'all. Enough, Faye. This is a pointless argument. Let's go. Oh, thank you, yo. Aw, shucks. And I was just feeling pretty good about it, too. We'll probably have the chance to meet all y'all again sometime. Don't so, so don't forget us here. I know I ain't forgetting that face. See y'all later. Who the heck was that? Hooray, it's Nokia. Nokia came for us. Thank you for saving us. Oh, I didn't do anything. If you want to thank someone, thank Seabad. Thank you. Even still, this place gives me the creeps. Let's get out of here for now. Man, I thought we were going to have to go back to back with like two champion stack battles. Woof. Oh, I feel much better back here, don't you? Ah, Aguman, Gabuman, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> we felt like seeing you again, so we came looking for you. That's when we ran into those scary guys. They chased us off. That was a close one. If they'd capture us, we'd be doomed. Um, I don't really understand this very well yet, but... Weren't Digimon like you? I mean, aren't you programs created by hackers? What? You think that we... were created by humans? <laughs> huh? Wait, what's the deal? Did I say something a Digimon find funny? <laughs> she said it, didn't she? Yeah, she did, she did. She said that humans created us. Wait, we didn't? No, Kia, come on. Of course you didn't. We're all alive same as you, aren't we? Just look at us. It should be obvious. Yeah, well, I get that you're alive just like we are. Sure. Check this, Nokia. We come from a different world than the one you humans know. A different world? Uh-huh. We call it the digital world. Ooh, okay. The digital world? Normally, the digital world where Digimon live and the human world aren't connected. But something happened and now the two worlds come together from time to time. That's why there are so many Digimon wandering about, lost in your world. Those scary guys captured Digimon and forced them to do whatever they're ordered to do. We can only exist in digital space. But nearly all the digital space in the human world was created by humans. That might be why we get mistaken for programs made by humans. Well, you understand? Uh, yeah, I do, I see, I think. How about you, did you follow that? So. The Digimon are from the digital world, and we're from our world. And somehow the digital world and our world intersect, and now in this digital space, they can exist in our digital space. That's crazy. You're kidding me. You understood that? For the time being, let's say that you, Digimon, from a different world, wandered into our world and got lost, right? Well, me and Gabumon are different. We came to this world of our own free will. There's something we need to do here. Something you need to do? What would that be? That would be... Uh... Oh, something you can't talk about? Could it be maybe... World domination? No, that's not it. The truth is... We can't remember. What? And it must have been very important, too. What did we come here for? Agumon. Gabumon. It's gonna be okay, trust me. You'll remember it soon, I'm sure of it. And I can help you. Let's do our best to help each other out until you remember, okay? Yeah, Nokia. Thanks, Nokia. We'll do our best. So what should we start doing our best at? Um, Right, I kind of figured trying our best would be enough for starters. Like running toward a point on the horizon. Like feeling you could do anything with enough energy. Let's start by doing our best to think about what we should do. Okay, Nokia. I might not understand this, but I'm willing to do my best now. I'll do my best too. So what do you say, Nokia? Can we stay with you? You're such cutie pies. Of course you can. Let's be together forever. Agumon, Gabumon, let's be besties from now on. Sure. Man, she got the two fusion pairs. That's so cool. Got a thousand cyber sleuth points. 
Hmm, looks like it's case closed, I guess. Good work out there. Normally, we'd go back to the agency, have some coffee, and I'd thank you. But I need you to head directly to Shinjuku. A mysterious incident has occurred in Shinjuku. Could you go and give me an eyewitness report? And if you could do it before police arrive on the scene, that would be appreciated. Oh boy. I heard that. You have to go right away, huh? Thanks, Seabed. Without you, I wouldn't have been able to help my new Digimon pals. It sounds like you've got a lot on your plate. Good luck in Shinjuku. I'll do my best, too. Awesome. Now that she's got some, like, bodyguards. Thanks! See you soon! Now that she's got some bodyguards, we can go on ahead and try our best. Yeah, let's save now. Because is that the resolution in Chapter 3? No, that's still... We're still in Chapter... Okay. Let's go on ahead and head over to Shinjuku, then, and see what's going... Oh, I got some messages... Oh, you like Oh, yeah, I digivolved a few. I, I created a bunch of new ones from the, the data that we had already had, and then I digivolved a few, so... Elecmon, bring me a gift from the outside next time. Something tasty, promise? I understand. Please wait a little longer. I didn't think you found an Agumon and Gabumon. Are you a super sleuth? <laughs> thanks. The texting in this is so weird. Okay. We need to look around for an eyewitness report on what happened here in Shinjuku. And that's just a map. It doesn't tell me where anybody is. And I... Nope, I can't head across any of those crosswalks. So let's go back over to the other crosswalk and see who is here to give us some testimony. Who around here wants to tell me what the heck happened? I can't go... I can go over here. Anybody over here? Hello? Anybody got a... No, that's to probably... Yep, that's to go back to the map. On oh, worst back all the way over here. Alright, let's go down the aisle way. Yahweh, the alleyway. I almost got hit by a car. Excuse me! I am a cyber sleuth. Get your hands off of me. Ah, here we go. Cutscene time. Chapter 4, the Shinjuku Underground Labyrinth Incident. Okay. What happened over here? It's happening on the other side of that crowd. Let's go. Read text messages now. Alright. Uh. Yesterday, Sakura was late to school for a change. Any idea why? We should lost track of... Uh, I don't know. What's up? Uh, forever I swear by your sincere gaze. My only love. My heart crazed with pain. Sounds like... Shin sounds like uh, Jimmy can lyric. Sounds like Kyoko's been taking care of you. Try not to cause her trouble? Uh, actually, I'm helping out with work. Alright, we'll keep building up those relationships and keep texting everybody back. Let's go over here and see what the hell this crowd's looking at. Hey, what are y'all looking at? Don't you know it's rude to stare? That's a giant digital portal. Uh... Well, well. Aren't you something? Oh, it's a Rada. Do you have any idea what this is? Yeah, this whole phenomenon is hard to wrap my head around. I've never seen anything like it. But still, there's got to be a way for us to get inside it. Wouldn't you think? Hey, you! Stay right where you are! One more step and I'll arrest the both of you. Huh? Crap, this guy's the last thing we need right now. This is a crime scene and I won't have you messing with it. The great Makito... Makito... Da, Makiko Date, I kept saying Makito. Makiko Date is going to, isn't going to go easy on the punks responsible for this mess. Maybe I should bail before this becomes a whole ordeal. Hey you, I told you to freeze, didn't I? Huh? I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah, what was it? That one hacker team? Uh-oh, come on, let's bail! Oh, what? Hey, you stop right there! Alright, what? that's so weird. Gotta find a way out of here. Looks like this is the only way. Well, don't knock it until you tried it, I guess. I guess I'm just... Yep, alright, I'm not trying to get arrested, so I'm just gonna jump into this random anomaly. Seems perfectly logical. Whoa. It's like the subway that that leads to all became like merged into the digital world. Or at least into Eden. Is this place real? Or digital? What's going on? This is too strange. It's like two worlds are intersecting. Oh, I can't make heads or tails of this. I don't think there's anything wrong with my head. At least the cops won't be here after me. Yeah, but what about her? Oh, for sure. The way she is, I can see her showing up out of the blue. Which means there's only one answer. A demon or a snake is back there. Let's think of a plan once we see it. A demon or a sn What? 
Why are there just demons and snakes here? All right, come on, team. I probably can't digivolve any of you, can I? I'll double check. I don't think I can digivolve Betamon, though. But let's just double check, because we did get a memory up in that last encounter. So we might be able to digivolve somebody. Let's check and see who's in the bank that we have. Uh, digivolve. Probably can't digivolve Beomon. I can digivolve. Oh, digi Beomon can digivolve into Kabuterimon? We got Bergramon. That looks like a Kilomon. Bergramon. I don't know who that is. I kind of want to go the route that I don't know and see what Beomon will evolve into or digivolve into. I keep getting. You, you guys know what I mean when I say that. That's that's okay. Cubimon, yo! Let's go! Cubimon is sick. Yo, that's so cool. That is so, so, so cool. Um, we do have five more. Um, we do have the ability to put five more um Digimon in the farm, so let's do that. Let me put you let me put Goblimon in the farm. And then I probably, like I said, I can't digivolve. Yeah, I can't digivolve. Sunomon can evolve Gabumon, Goblimon, or Vimon. Wanyamon, we can't see any of Wanyamon's digivolutions. Gargomon. Xvmon is all blocked off. Marimon. Yeah, we need to get to like high 20s before I worry about any of that. Um, so Betamon can do quite a few, but we need to have. Uh, a few more levels. And then Kabuterimon, yeah, late late 20s. Okay. Um, do I have anything new on the Digi Convert? I can get another Tokomon. Um, let's... Let's do a... Uh, let's do a Tokomon. Why not? Let's go on ahead and convert a Tokomon. Let's convert a Patamon as well. Let's just... Let's just Let's just ball out with all of our conversions that we can get here. And then see who we can put on the farm. Alright, so move. So farm island one. We've got... Oh, we can just put more on there. Oh, party memory. I'm dumb. Okay. Let's put all of these guys over here if we can. I'll send everybody on a mission, too, under Cubimon's executive eye. Then we're like, oh, trophy earned, full house. Okay. Let's go here. All right, let's take a look here. They're still developing. Um, I have no farm goods at all. Okay. So they are still doing stuff. Which is fine. Um, let us... Let's train. We're going ahead and start training. Alright. That should be wrapped up at the end of our next episode, since that looked like it was about 30 minutes. Alright, let's head back into that subway and see what the heck's going on. All right, we've got... Actually, I didn't see how much party... I've got room for five on the party, right? I can probably... Actually, ah. Let's go back. I can probably grab somebody and actually put them on the party here. That way we're not... Uh, let's move. So we've got Falcomon. Cubemon uses eight. And I can only grab five. Let's grab... Um, let's go on ahead and grab Wanyamon. Let's go on ahead and grab Wanyamon. We may need to move some stuff around because we may be... We've got four champions right now, so we should actually be able to do a level three break on those walls. Oh, what are these guys? That's, uh, Gatsuman. I have no idea who that is. I should have checked instead of going for the auto. Looks like some weird dragon. I mean, I'll take it. Oh, that's a lot of experience. 
Xvmon's level 15, Marimon's 15, Kabuterimon's 10, Betamon's 11, Wanyamon's level 7. We have a lot of Topaz we can sell from that as well. Hey, what do you think a Digimon is more like, a demon or a snake? Neither. Since the Digimon is turned up, this must be the digital world, right? If this still feels very much like the real world, right? We're not going to get anywhere just by thinking about it. Regardless, these Digimon seem to be a bit on the wild and vicious side. Huh. And so knowing that's why they were like... I made sure to get my hands on some slightly tougher Digimon. We never know. We might get attacked by something like that black one from the other day. You got your Digimon too, so the next time it crosses our pants, we'll delete it for sure, yeah? Uh, In battle, the careless lose first. What? What do you mean? I thought this before, but you're strange. Sometimes I don't understand what you're saying. Do you lack any sense of self-awareness or something? Either way, I guess you're at least pretty fascinating. Guest characters. Characters other than the protagonist or Digimon can participate in battles as guests. You cannot command them, but they will support you in battles. Oh, that's cool. So if we get too ahead of ourselves, Arata and his team will, will go with us. My phone's ringing? Huh? Are you okay? You've been quiet for a while. What? I need to report to the agency, but there's no connection? What are you talking about? What agency? What? The detective agency you work at? You're a super cool cyber sleuth? Super cool? I mean, a cyber sleuth? A digital detective? Really? That's incredible. I don't quite get it, but it, it's incredible. You really are something, aren't you? No, that's... That wasn't a compliment. Well, communication is out. I've been trying for a while now, too, and in here, there's no net connection at all. The digital wave must be unstable. No way, you're gonna make me explain digital waves to you? Look it up later, do a search. More importantly, let's talk about this cyber sleuth thing. I wanna hear more about that. Don't get me wrong, it's not because I think it's interesting or because I wanna try it out. It's just plain intellectual curiosity, a peaked interest. It must be weird though, being a cyber sleuth. What's it like? I've only read it about it in comics. I mean, it's pretty cool, I guess, pays the bills. Nope, that's enough, I've lost interest already. Oh, douche, crap. All right. Okay, I want to know. I want to know. Tell me more about it. What's it like being a cyber sleuth? What cases have you solved so far? And what's your boss like? Tell me everything. This is the same as the one from Kowloon the other day, right? What's Hugo doing there? What? What is it? What happened? You don't look at me. This is no time to be fooling around. What? There was a ghost? The ghost of the pale boy that had all of Eden has been going on and on about? And you say you saw it in Kowloon? For real? You're not trying to con me? You'd be the only one who isn't. Anyone can tell you're real soft-hearted. You clearly saw something strange. You got a good look at it, yet saw nothing. And it left something in your head, as if something were pushed into it. That's freaky and frustrating. To be on the cusp of remembering, and yet... What the heck is that? What does it mean? Yeah. Well, it's another lead to follow, perhaps. Come on, let's go. So, is Yugo putting, like, memories into my head? What is happening with that? That's kind of weird. Okay, who else is in here with us? Hey, you notice that? Listen up. Or should I say, sleuth, something's been following us for the last while. I don't know exactly what it is or who it is. A Digimon or a ghost or maybe it's her. Show yourself, come on out. Oh my, I've caught your attention. Oh dear, oh dear. Good day to you. Oh, easy there. Let's not be hasty. I'm nothing to be scared of, I assure you. Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Akemi Sudo. I'm a researcher for Kamashiro Enterprises. I'm currently studying this strange phenomenon. You're alone? Yes, I'm alone. I'm very much the only specialist capable of making these breakthroughs, though I'd still very much appreciate it if they gave me an assistant. I tell you, it's a terrible company. Why were you following us? I hadn't thought there were humans who'd made it farther than I had. I wanted to observe things for a bit. 
Did I happen to unsettle you? There's no excuse for that. I apologize. Well, I guess it's no big deal. But if you're in the mood to apologize, tell us what this is. We want to know. Oh, dear. Put it that way, and I can hardly refuse. I trust you won't go around blabbing about this to anyone? Sure thing. Ride Seabad? Very well, then. I shall tell you. But my tale comes out of my work process and is, at best, the, the result of inductive reasoning. I caution you that it is not a final conclusion. To begin, let's discuss the space we are in. This space exists within a certain phenomenon. We're in the whirlpool of a special digital wave. You know what I'm referring to? A digital wave? The flow of energy that carries digital information, correct? Brilliant! Straight from the textbooks. This may still be the real world, but it's still a world made up of digital information. To put it in the very simplest of terms, the real world has transformed into cyberspace. As a result, everything here has become data, even human thoughts. That's quite the leap of logic, isn't it? <laughs> I won't deny that. My colleagues often deemed my ideas rather... heretical. Some even compared me to Nikola Tesla. Well, that's more than well and good, but I do try not to let the praise go to my head. But enough of that. Have a look at this. The irregularities of this internal structure should indicate right away that we're dealing with digitized data made from human memories. They merged with reality, giving rise to this bizarre and complex space. That's my theory, in essence. Now, allow me to ask you a question. Have you encountered an eater yet? An eater? What's that? That's the term I've coined for these entities that devour and eat away at things. Do you mean that thing that looks like a black and white nautilus shell? That freaky program? Precisely! You have escaped an encounter with an eater unscathed. You don't know how lucky you are. When an eater preys upon something, all its compromised data is eroded away and becomes glitched. Glitched? What does that mean? All structure and algorithms become disordered data. Glitched. Completely defective. And once that data becomes glitched, it cannot be restored. Oh dear, how frightful that would be. How truly frightful indeed. Indeed. So, you end up being eaten. That's the common theory at any rate. I don't happen to agree, however. What? There must always be a way to restore data. It's illogical to assume otherwise. Not in the metaphysical sense, I'm talking about actual digital phenomena. And in that case, bugs are a thing we are well aware of. Therefore, I'm pressing on with my eater research. Hey, mister, calm down. Let me get this straight. Kamashiro knows about these eaters? Doesn't sound good. That goes without saying. That's why I'm pursuing this research. Crap, so they did know about them. Those admin creeps have been stonewalling me. Well, they are a business providing a service. There's a lot that needs to be confidential. I told you it's a terrible company, didn't I? There's more I want to ask on that front. Yes, I see. I can provide an answer. I shall. Ask away. But before that, you appear to be hackers, am I correct? You possess the Digimon capture program? And you have marvelous Digimon programs as well. What's it to you? Frankly put, I want to fight off the eater that is likely roaming around here somewhere. What? An eater is here too? Did you not see a strange apparition before? Perhaps you know it as the ghost of the pale boy? Oh, I did. That is, indic that is indicative of an eater's presence. A harbinger, I suppose you could say. An eater's existence both impacts the digital wave and serves to induce it. That's my thoughts on the matter at any rate. That's the digital wave itself might impact it by these eaters. So if we cut off the head, the body should wither away. To back up this theory, I'd like to ask for your assistance, if I may. You're a researcher, aren't you? You should have secret weapons at your disposal, right? A camera watch that can detect hidden objects or a ball we can stuff captured creatures into? Those are some oddly specific examples there. It turns out that at present, our best weapon against eaters are Digimon programs. Those programs are particularly bug resistant. They can resist erosion with little difficulty. Yeah, but Mr. Sudo, it's not that I don't believe you, but you want us to wipe that thing out, right? Well, that just happens to be our goal as well. Oh, excellent! Best of luck to you, then. Well, then, we're off for revenge. Let's find our way back to the regular world. The longer we're here, the weirder my head gets. I shall await you here. If you have any questions, come and seek me out. Oh, we have to go fight one of those eaters? The regular world, you say? And where exactly might that be, I wonder? What? So is he not of this world then? Oh boy, I don't like how that sounded. We're going to wrap up today's episode of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth right here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, we managed to beat Jimikin. We're now here in this digital wave where this train station that was in the real world is now engulfed and has become actual data. And there's an eater in here and we can apparently fight those. And you, mm -hmm. I'm 
excited. I hope you guys are too. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like on the video. It goes a long way in helping out the channel. If you guys are new, subscribe for more. We have plenty and plenty and plenty of content over here on Seabatic Gaming. As always, I want to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'm going to let this outro bang and I'll talk to you all soon. Later.